What's up guys, Noel JP here. How's everyone doing today? Hopefully everyone had a great weekend and caught some of the CWL Paris event. Optic took the title over FaZe in a clean sweep and I think Optic was on a mission after getting denied in Atlanta last week. It was pretty dominant to say the least. But that's over and done with and what I have for you guys today is the next in my series of best class setups. Last time we covered the ERAD out of the SMG class, but today we're switching back to the Assault Rifle class and we're going to talk about the gun that absolutely wrecks and that is known as the R3K. Before we get started today guys, take a second and hit that subscribe button. You guys have been showing me so much support with these best class setup videos here recently and I'm having a great time doing the testing for them. What I have for you guys in the background is a kill confirmed gameplay. Yes, it is not domination. It is actually kill confirmed out of my norm and it is on the new DLC map Neon. If you guys haven't picked up the DLC yet, you guys should definitely do so. All four maps are so well done. It might be one of the best map packs ever in COD history in my opinion. I don't know. There's just something about the layout of each map that just makes everything flow so well. Not a complaint to be seen from my side. So with that guys, let's get into today's best class setup, which is going to be the R3K Spearhead, which is the variant we get from the blue rare class. Remember guys, just because a gun is not in the epic gun category, it does not mean it's any less of a killing machine. I barely have any of the epic guns myself, and I play just fine. If you guys want to check out any of the other best class setup videos I have done so far, check out the description below this video or directly on my channel, I have everything there for you. Remember I've made it easy for you guys to pick out the category you're looking for by the thumbnail color on each video, so have a look and hopefully you'll learn a thing or two to help your game plays. So before we get started, if you guys watched my last video which was on the ERAD, I touted the gun as an SMG with laser-like capabilities, crisp shots, and quick kills. Well, let me tell you guys, the R3K is a straight wrecking machine, hence the name R3K. It's not spelled the same, but you guys get the general idea. So grab a pen, take some notes, and give this class a try. You will not be disappointed, I promise you. By the way, the camo I'm running in this video is the digital onyx that you get from the supply drops, and of course my golden gloves accessories to remind myself to play like a champ in every game that I get into. So first things first, let's take a look at the R3K Spearhead's title bar because no class setup can happen to its fullest without knowing exactly what our ground stats are. So up on the screen you'll see the Spearhead gets two items which include Flak, which increases damage to score streaks, stacking with Ram Servo, which in my opinion is completely worthless because most of the time you're not going to sit there and try to shoot down a score streak when you can just switch to Blind Eye and stay outside of most flying streaks. The most important piece to this bar is stacked, which reduces the time between burst fires and increases recoil. This is one of the best capabilities you could have for a weapon of this caliber, and we'll talk about that more here in just a minute. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, and many of you will probably feel the same, that after you spent the past years playing with a gun like the M887 from Black Ops 3, you can feel a pretty big difference using the R3K in Infinite Warfare, even though it's the same basic concept of a gun. What you'll find though is that the R3K is a little bit more powerful than you think, so let's take a look at how to get yourself set up with a killer class. First, let's take a look at the stats that come with the base model of the R3K. If you've seen in any of my past videos, you will know that the magic number I like to get to on each line is 75 if possible, unless the gun demands some other type of setup to make it more useful. Pretty much every line is close, except for mobility, which is a little shy at 65 and damage at 70. Now, when you choose the R3K Spearhead variant, your base stats do change a little bit. You get bumps in fire rate, which comes from the stacked ability given, the, given to the gun, a little bit of damage bump because of the flak, but you do take a four point hit to accuracy because of the stack and the recoil effect that it causes. We will level this out though as we go forward. Now I will tell you guys that I spent quite a bit of time on this one testing this out uh, doing some different setups because I have the Black Ops 3 mentality that a burst fire gun should be like the M887 and not need to be changed too much to be really effective. But I really had to get it figured out and how it could still be effective and this is really what I came up with. First I added our trusty and always need a quick draw which gives you a plus two to accuracy. I also picked the stock which gives you a plus five to mobility because like we talked about earlier mobility was lacking a little bit at 65 out of 100 and this will get you up to 70 out of 100. I think the stock is so vital in being able to run around with this assault rifle and maneuver yourself during gunfights. Uh, my third and final pick for attachments was Particle Amp, which gives you a whopping plus 10 to range. Now you guys might be thinking to yourself why I had the 75 out of 100 goal for each line, but this time I've 
left three lines sub one of the 75 number. This variant is a great variant, and even though we don't get to 75 out of 100 for some lines, the way the gun shoots makes up for it. To make things a little bit better, I also put an ELO sight on, and I went with the blue dot, which you can get out of the supply drops. The blue dot, for whatever reason, I don't know, it's just so much easier on my eyes than the red dot. It's just really a preference thing, but I really like the blue dot over the red dot. Uh, the ELO does give you a plus three bump into accuracy, and now we're at 77 out of 100 which is great. In some of my past videos I've said that I almost always play with iron sights unless the gun plays better with a sight. This just happens to be one of those guns where a sight makes a world of difference. I personally do not like the iron sights on this weapon. It's just not feeling very streamlined at all and actually made shooting people a lot more difficult when I was doing the testing. So here's what the stats look like with all the attachments and sights and what you're seeing is that we actually improved the gun in every single one of the categories. Even if it was by a little bit, we still improved in all capabilities, including accuracy, which we took a hit on from the variant itself as a base model, and recovered it nicely with the quick draw and the ELO sight to get it back up to 77 out of 100. What I also wanted to specifically point out about the list is, I think the best characteristic of this gun is the fire rate, which is at 84 out of 100. Your M887 from Black Ops 3 was a burst fire gun with a four hit kill. The R3K is the same burst fire weapon, but it's a three hit kill, which means you can literally one shot kill the opponent because you burst fire, you burst, excuse me, you burst fire three bullets for each shot. That was a little tough to say. This gun is not a hold and burst type gun, which means you need to get your trigger finger working and tap to shoot each time. It does take a little getting used to, but if you played with the M887 from Black Ops 3, you shouldn't be having that much of a change to the way that you're shooting. I have to tell you guys that when you one burst an opponent and they fall and you're literally thinking to yourself, wow, that kid literally just got wrecked. And it kind of hypes you up to go out there and do it again. Uh, so now to close out the loadout, I have my standard three perks, which are Ghost, Scavenger, and Dead Silence. However, in past setups, I was not running a sight, which allowed me to take another perk or another attachment. Because I used the sight in this setup, I was left with one spot to fill, and thus I picked up the Hailstorm Thunder Epic variant as my secondary weapon. Just in case I get into one of those close quarter showdowns, I have something else to use aside from my assault rifle and trying to win a one-on-one -on -one battle. Now, I'm not going to go into the Hailstorm as a setup on this video, but trust me, one is coming, so keep checking back for that. I'm also carrying my standard UAV, counter UAV, and advanced UAV setup, which always does good work for me. So there you guys go. I'll throw an image up on the screen of the completed setup so you guys can take another look at what I've picked and what I've been having the most success with. I don't think I actually use my secondary during this gameplay, if I remember right, and sometimes I forget I have it because I usually don't run a secondary but I'll kind of get the hang of it if I play this gun a whole lot more as I'm planning to do. Hopefully you guys have been seeing some of the kills in the background where guys are just dropping so fast. The purpose of this gameplay was not so much to show you guys an insane KD figure, even though it turned out to be just over a 3.0 KD, but it's just to show you that with the right setup, you can really play well even without kill streaks getting all the kills for you. I've said it before and I'll say it again that you cannot rely on score streaks to make you a better player in Call of Duty, whether it's this Call of Duty or any Call of Duty going forward. If you want to up your game, you have to learn how to be a better gun player because in the end, everything starts with the gun that you have in your hands. So with that guys, there you go. Another best class setup in the books. I really enjoyed making this one for you guys and all the testing that I did and it's already paying dividends for me and hopefully you guys find success with it as well. Keep checking back for more setup videos that I will be putting out here shortly. The best way to get notified is to hit that subscribe button to keep track of everything that I do so you'll see it pop up on your timeline as soon as I put it out. So hit that button right now and subscribe on and follow, follow along with me. The gameplay will be wrapping up in the background here shortly. Have a great rest of your day everyone and I will catch you on my next video. Nice work, well done.